NBC 10's Katie Davis got a behind-the-scenes look today. And Katie, you actually went inside the ACI to see how it all works. Yeah, that's right, Dan. The ACI started using these scanners this year after that inmate escaped by impersonating another inmate. The technology was already in the planning stages at the time, but now it is up and running. As you can see, it's now trying to focus on the individual's first eye. Your iris, the colored part of your eye, as unique as your fingerprint. Now, iris scanning technology is helping to make Rhode Island's prison system safer. The most accurate and most easily obtained and highly visible biometric on our bodies is our iris. Captain Fred Haven and Captain Kathy Lyons showed us how it works with the help of an inmate volunteer. First, the inmate looks into a special digital camera. Then images of both eyes are captured. Each inmate is scanned when he or she is first processed and again before release. So we have tools in place, all right, to say we're very comfortable 100 percent. We're letting the right individual go since August 15th of this year. But the technology wasn't in place back in July when Nyquan Gadsden escaped by impersonating another inmate who was scheduled for release. Corrections officers say there's no way Gadsden could have known the scanners were coming. And they say the new system makes impersonating another inmate virtually impossible. Let's put it this way. Now that this system is in place, uh, it is the last time that someone like Nyquan Gadsden uh, can pull that kind of stunt. The other inmate who switched places with Gadsden was never identified. Investigators say Gadsden made promises to him in exchange for his help, but those promises were never kept. Gadsden was captured a few days later in New York, and both men were hit with additional charges. I would have liked to be able to say that it was impossible for somebody to defeat our, our procedures. He showed otherwise, but it won't happen again. <laughs> And the first iris scanner at the ACI cost about $40,000 to install, but it was paid for with a federal grant rather than with state tax dollars.